Hi, welcome to another video. So, Quen has launched their own operator, well, kind of. Quen has launched a new model called Quen 2.5 VL, which is their new vision model. There are three new models that excel in vision tasks, and the model weights are about 3 billion parameters, 7 billion parameters, and a 72 billion parameter model as well. So, you can easily run it locally if that's needed. The model claims to have powerful document parsing capabilities, precise object grounding across formats, ultra-long video understanding, and fine-grained video grounding, and enhanced agent functionality for computers and mobile devices. So, basically, it can do pretty good document parsing if you upload a document for OCR or something, and it can also do object grounding. Not just that, it also now supports video understanding, which means that you can now upload videos and it can understand them as well, which is pretty great. It is also trained for agentic capabilities, which means that it can easily do agentic tasks, like what OpenAI's operator does, which is to control a computer or a browser or anything like that which needs pinpoint accuracy. So, it's great at that as well. You can see that it performs significantly better than GPT-4.0 and Sonnet, at least in benchmarks. They have also shown some examples of using it in different scenarios, like document parsing and some other stuff. But, one of the great ones is the computer use operations here. It performs significantly well in computer use tasks, which means that it's going to be great at computer and agentic tasks, which is pretty great. So, let me just tell you how you can use it as a computer use agent, similar to OpenAI's operator, and how it all works. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, Let's come back to the video. You can use the model for free via their QuenChat interface, which is great and doesn't have any rate limits either. Or you can also run it locally via Hugging Face Inference, as Olama doesn't support it yet. But it should be supported soon as well. And you cannot run it via VLLM as well yet, which is also a big bummer. It's because the architecture is vastly different. Although, you can use it as an OpenAI-compatible API through their API. But, things being open source is a plus because a good open source contributor has built this simple implementation for serving the model as an OpenAI-compatible API. You can either run it via Docker or locally as well. You can just clone it, and then you'll need to create a folder where it will download the model, and then you can run the download model file, and it will get that model downloaded. It will, by default, download the 7 billion parameter model, but you can also download others by changing the model name in this file. Once done, you can just do pip install, and then you can run it, and the server will get started. Now, we can use it. So, we have to use it with browser use. We can just go to the browser use web UI thing, and here we can just clone it, and then just do pip install. 
Once that's done, run the Playwright install command, and then just run it with this command. Once done, we can just open it up, and here you'll see these options. Now, in the LLM configuration, you can just select the OpenAI option, and then you'll need to enter the model name here as Quen 2.5 VL, and then you'll also need to enter the API base URL as the server URL that you see, and then you'll need to enter anything as the API key. Once done, we can start using it, but make sure that in the agent settings, you turn on the vision option. And once you have done that, we can now start using it. So, let's ask it to go to Google and search for AI Code King. Once we do that, you'll see that it starts working on it. It first opens up the browser, and then it will go towards Google. And then it will try to search by typing in everything. Once it does that, we now have the final results, and it did this pretty well. You can see the recording of the whole operation here, along with the final result, as well as errors, model actions, and thoughts as well. You can also get the trace file and agent history here as well, which is all great. Apart from this, in the other settings, you can also do some browser settings here, like if you want it to use your own browser, or if you want to keep the browser open, or use headless mode, or even disable security like HTTPS, or disable recording. You can also change the window width and height as well. With this, the lower you have, the better it will generally work. Now let's try it again as well with something complex this time. Like let's ask it to search for flights between New York and Chicago on February 10th. Once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on it again. It first navigates to Google, and then it will take a look. Then the model, which in this case is Quen 2.5 VL, will mark the segments and give it coordinates, which it will use to click on the stuff. And then once it has the response, it will type in the search query, then it will search for the stuff. Once done, it again repeats the same stuff again, and then clicks the flight thing. And now we have the final result. So, this worked pretty well. I think that this is quite amazing. Quen 2.5 VL is a pretty good model that you can use locally and make it do all kinds of agentic tasks locally. We generally don't get as many good vision models, but this is great, and it supports vision and everything, which is really amazing to say the least. You don't need to worry about any data or anything, because you can run all this locally. And there's the 7 billion and 3 billion parameter model as well, if you want to do that. So, that's insane. It works pretty well at vision tasks, and it is quite amazing. The Quen chat interface is also great to use if you wish to use it. The support is ongoing, and I believe VLLM and Olima support will very soon follow, and you'll be able to run it even easier once that's out. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.